lovely peeps. So Wilson is hard at work in the front room, so I'm in the bedroom. I am just about to head out to the Gold Hawk Road meetup. This will be the first one that I've done in a very long time. It was very short notice and it was a Friday, so I think there's only six people coming, but it will still be really nice to see everybody and hopefully it will be way less busy than Saturdays, which is why I did it on a Friday. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to all the fabric. It's all of us, we are in Brewdog. We have had a fairly successful half of, a, of one of the streets, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody wasn't buying anything, and how many fabrics have you got in your bag? Five. Yeah, not buying anything. <laughs> but we're doing really, really well. Um, we, if you guys don't mind, we'll do a little show and tell at the end, very quickly. Um, but we uh, decided to stop for lunch because we're hungry. So we're in Brewdog, chicken wings, all the chicken wings. They finally have it in, so I'm going to give it a try. I have no idea what this is like, but I had to, right? I had to. You're on Debbie Cam. Well, I will put that on screen as well, but um, yeah, I wanted her to film me trying this because I love Karma Violet, so... Oh, it smells good. I don't think I'll order it again, but I'm going to enjoy this one. That is... oddly good. <laughs> yeah. But I do prefer their fruitier ones, I have to say, but I shall enjoy this. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. One eternity later. We have uh, Lorraine's lovely haul. So we've got some silk, we've got some cashmere wool suiting, and what was this? Was wool, wasn't it as well? Yeah, it's a very, very kind of tonal palette we've got going on there. Very nice. So this is Caroline's little lot. So we've got trousers and a waistcoat coming out of this. We've got some linen. This is going to be a Nomi. And then some beautiful Christmas fabric as well. Debbie's is going to take a lot longer, but we're going to have tea. Uh, we're going to have our hot chocolates now they're over there they're over there right so debbie wasn't buying any fabric today <laughs> this is all debbie not 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 dropping you in it or anything but actually i think i ought to take this one home so that debbie doesn't have to um store this one i mean i am actually going back for some more of this on monday so we've got some beautiful blue and pink leopard which is going to go with the this for um trousers and a pussy bow blouse and also maybe the lining for a waistcoat this is also waistcoat lining and perhaps an ogden cami beautiful silks that we're not getting out of the wrapper because we are in costa and we don't want to get anything on the table then there's a new shop called Dazzle, I think it was. I'll put their Instagram in the thing down below. They were amazing. And there was this um, last little bit of purple velvet and they were doing this for a pound a metre. So this is mus muslin, muslin fodder. And, and then underneath here, we've got some very lovely cotton lawn as well. So you've done pretty well. Uh -huh. you, uh, uh -huh. you weren't doing any shopping today. No, I wasn't gonna buy anything. <laughs> Not that we're such a good influence. Yes. yes. Have you had fun, ladies? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely have fun. Has it been nice to see people and touch the fabric in real life? Touch the fabric. Touch the yeah. Fabric. Yeah. We needed it. Yeah. We did. Oh gosh, the lighting in here is fabulous <laughs> everywhere. I bought a little bit and I'll show you that when I get home as well. But um, I'm going back on Monday for some silk cotton blend that I found. So I'll show you that as well. <laughs> Good morning, lovely peeps. Happy Friday. I am looking very shiny and red faced. No makeup today. My skin has been playing up for the last couple of days for fun times. So yes, it's Friday again and uh, Wilson is at work, which is why I'm in the bedroom. I am going back out to the Gold Hawk Road. I got paid yesterday. I was expecting to get paid on Monday. I got paid yesterday. And I put up a vote on Facebook between these two fabrics. And um, the leafy one's winning, but only just. And I haven't told you guys, but there's actually a blue version of that abstract fabric as well. So I'm going to go and have a look around the fabric shops as well. There's a new fabric shop that I want to show you guys. And they were getting a new delivery of stock on Wednesday. So I'm going to take you in there as well. So yeah, I thought we'd just go and have a little bit of a mooch around the Gold Hawk Road. I didn't really film very much when I was up here last weekend with the peeps. Because it was just so nice to see everybody. So we were catching up and chatting. I did. We will have just seen all the fabrics they bought. But at the end of this video, I'll show you the fabrics that I have bought. This is the new one I was talking about. So absolutely beautiful selection of just some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. These are all cotton velvets with paper sequins in them and absolutely beautiful. They do a range of solid colours that pair in really nicely with all of the laces and embroidered fabrics that you've got here. The new delivery was supposed to arrive on Wednesday and it's not here yet. He's waiting for it literally. I am so eyeing up 
these two. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful kind of laces. And they are all around £30 a piece per meter. So they're not cheap, but they are copies or designer dupes. We've got the silks over here, some cotton lawns, there's some, I have some of this. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. The um, suiting collection, as I say, this is a new shop, so they are working on building up the suiting collection and they're actually gonna turn the back room in there to a suiting specialist. And again, it's beautifully laid out. One of the things that I love about these kinds of shops is that you can see everything and touch everything. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. A1 Fabrics is where the abstract print was from and I actually bought some. I'm also absolutely loving this lace and how beautiful would this be for the lining of a coat because it is a polyester satin but so pretty and leafy velvet which i think i'm going to try and persuade wilson to let me make bedroom curtains out of okay i have come back for lunch and i'm trying to persuade wilson into going out to brew dog for lunch with me because i have to go home on monday so i'm trying to make the most of this area whilst i'm here i bought more than i said i was going to and all the prices were totally different from last week as well, which is hilarious. I had to tell them what price they were charging last week and, and try and talk them into letting me have it for that price. But I managed, it's totally fine. But yeah, I do think it's funny, it's different in there every time, but that is the nature of the beast, isn't it? So, brew dog for lunch, maybe a little bit more fabric browsing, because I'm going to go have a look in Goldhawk Fabrics at the silks because I do want to do the Dolce & Gabbana silk suit that I talked to you guys about so I'm gonna go and have a look and see if I can find something that I like in there as well. Later. Wilson is still at work in the front room which is why I am in here and on the bed. I did bring my tripod with me though so hopefully the setup is okay and we're working with natural lighting. Chiana is here. She doesn't want to come say hi. We've had Fun and games with this one. She's finally kind of settled the last couple of days. But yeah, we've got Fellaway going. I've got lots of her toys and stuff from home as well to try and make her feel more at home. And we're getting there, we're getting there. Russian Blues are known to be more attached to their owners than their surroundings, which is why I particularly got a Russian Blue because I knew I'd move a lot. And Wilson has said that she can come back next time which is great, because it does mean that we're gonna be able to do what I wanted to do, which is me spend a couple of weeks here and then a couple of weeks on the island. So I have a fabric haul. I um, was only gonna buy one fabric. That did not happen. So let me show you what I got. So the first one is a cotton lawn from UK Textiles, and it's this beautiful print. So I found this on the Friday last week with the girls. They talked me into it. There were two cuts of it so I've got this cut here which was 20 pounds and then I have this cut here which was 10 pounds and it's for three meters 20 pounds for three meters usually but this one has like a coffee stain on it and it does run the entire length because we unfolded everything it does run the entire length of the fabric but there is definitely usable parts of this she's not happy that she's locked out of the rest of the flat but I'm trying to be quiet because Wilson's working in the front room I'm going to wash this and fingers crossed it'll come out but the staining is actually not that bad and it's kind of a, is a muted colour so it's not, you know, it's not like a obvious like, oh gosh, that's a big stain. It looks like it's been tea stained. So I think what I might try and do is over dye this if that doesn't come out because I do have three metres of a perfect one and then three metres of a less than perfect one. £30 for six metres of this really, really pretty cotton lawn. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It is very, very beautiful and it was one of those ones where they only had those two packets left and all the girls talked me into it. They were like, oh, if you leave it till you get paid, it's not going to be there. Get it, get it. So I got it. Thank you, Caroline, for enabling that. And then I put a vote up on Facebook, I think I told you before I went out shopping today, for a cotton silk blend, green leaves, purple flowers, or an abstract viscose that reminded me of roses. And I'll show you why it reminds me of roses, because yes, I bought both. There was a few people that said, so how much of both did you buy? So this is the cotton silk blend. It is absolutely stunning. I've got She's been doing this a lot as well. It gets quite cold in here, so she's been sleeping under the dovet. I've got five meters of this. It's 140 wide and it's very, very sheer. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do something 
There you go. So not like super sheer, but sheer enough that I am going to make something. And again, I'm going to practice before I do this because this is the second slightly expensive fabric. This was £12 per meter that I've got. And my sister-in-law has fallen in love with this. And I asked, they said they were a reserve for some for me, but they also said they have loads more in the, in the warehouse. Yeah, I mean, if anyone wants any, let me know because I can always go and get you some and send it out to you, 12 pounds per meter. But yeah, so for this one, I am going to do something like the 7977 Zimmerman inspired dress. So I want a sheer panel here. I think what I'm gonna do is actually do the entire dress sheer and then make a slip specifically to go underneath of it. And I want to do a tiered ruffled skirt, big sleeves, maybe a high neckline with a little ruffle around the neckline. I bought some fabric from Dibs, Salvage and Bolts, which again is this kind of sheerness. Yeah, I would like to do something like that with this. Although this is a very sort of summery print. There's five meters there, believe it or not. Yeah, this is a very summery print. So maybe not with the sleeves, but I do like the idea of sheer sleeves. So I can always go and get more of that if I need to. It's a very definite theme of colors with this. Then all your textiles. I went in last Friday, I had my McCall 7537 dress on in the ruffles and he said, oh, I've got fabric so similar to that. And Debbie bought five meters of this and I went back today and I bought three meters of this and I am going to make an Eve dress. Now when Debbie bought it, I think she got it for seven pounds. And when I bought it, he said, oh, it's usually everyone 10 pounds for you, eight pounds. But I was paying on my card, not in cash. So, and I know there's a charge for that. So I didn't mind much. But again, there is some of this left. So if anybody wants any, I'm here till Monday. <laughs> in fact, you've got till late Saturday afternoon to let me know if you want any of this. It was, I'm gonna say eight pounds, eight pounds a meter. I got three meters of it and I'm going to make a sew over at Eve dress, probably possibly a Doris dress. My battery's dying two sex. That's better. And then finally, this was the other one I put up for the vote. And yeah, I think there was two of you that said, so how much of each did you get? Which reminds me of roses. And the reason it reminds me of roses is if you actually, yeah, you can see there are actually kind of like really subtle roses on it, but it's kind of a geometric abstract print and it's a viscose. When I went in last Friday, it was nine pounds per meter. When I went in today, it was 15 pounds per meter. So I said, oh, no, 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 last Friday, last Friday it was nine pounds per meter. He's like, how much are you buying? I was like, oh, probably five meters. He was like, okay. So I got three meters of the pink one. And then I saw that they have it on a green and kind of gingery base. They also have it in blue by the way, as well, which I'm not ruling out going and getting some more of. Yeah, I bought three meters, so I got six meters in total, so that's why they gave it to me for the nine pounds. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm thinking that I might try, this will go really well with the Savannah print, believe it or not. The colors, at least, will go work really well with all the other stuff that I'm making. So I might try and make something with this soon as well. So yeah. My, um, I'm not buying any fabric from the Goldhawk Road fabric haul. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, definite, definite colour theme going on there, isn't there? Greens and pinks and leaves. I mean, this is me we're talking about, but I'm very pleased with my viscoses and cottons and cotton silk blend that I got. Definitely more than I intended. I've got to get this all home. I've got to find a place for it in the stash because I'm supposed to be whittling down the stash. That's clearly not going to happen for a while, especially when living here. But, but when I helped Wilson move in, I didn't buy any fabric and then I didn't buy, I mean, I bought one cut last Friday. So, you know, I was due. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the people at Dazzle as well. I sort of said to them, I was like, you know, let me know when the um, when the new when the new stock comes in because he said it was later today, very late, very latest tomorrow. So let me know when it comes in. He's like, are you local? I was like, I live here. And he was like, oh, so next door then? I'm like, yes, yes, actually next door. 
but yeah it's been it's been lovely seeing the peeps again i can't wait for the february meetup i know it's a friday but i promise you it's so much quieter on a friday so are the places for lunch it was just a lot of fun and i know there's going to be a big group of us on the 11th of february so i think what i'll do is start an event for it so people can say yes they're coming or no they're not so that we know how many people we've got coming and to look out for and things um, but it was very very lovely to see caroline debbie and lorraine on friday last week um anyway on that note i'm gonna shut up waffling because i've still got to edit this oh the vogue 9077 video is going to be over two hours long because this is a very involved make and i have managed to lose or fluff up the footage for a really crucial part for the pattern drafting bit so i'm going to have to do that again when i get home so that video won't be coming out till i get home but i it's it's basically edited except for that little bit that i'm missing the 9077 is coming just not quite yet bear with me so i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i will see you again very very soon bye